Dallas, Texas, and the Texas State Fair. A football setting unlike any other. The Cotton Bowl cut in half. 50% crimson, 50% burnt orange. The Sooners and the Longhorns have played here since 1932. Today, they battle for the golden hat and bragging rights, and the outcome of this game can echo for a long time. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. And we'll see the number 14 team in the country, the Oklahoma Sooners, taking on the third-ranked team, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreet. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. The Sooners will kick this away to get us going. And he'll bring it out from inside the town. Tackled at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. The Longhorns offense comes on the field first today. And here we go. This is fun. An atmosphere unlike any other in the middle of a state fair. It's crimson and cream against the burnt orange. And Chris, for people who have never been here to watch this, you're right. We're right in the middle of the Texas State Fair. Big Texas out there. We got corn dogs. We got fried. Any kind of food you can imagine. This is one of the best settings there is in college football. Well, that's one of those plays that works better against certain defensive looks. But not every defense is the same. They were all over that one. Let's see if they continue to attack to the outside on the perimeter to set something up downfield. They go backwards on first down, so it's second and long from the 19. Going to run it. It's Baxter. Gets some space around the 30. They bring him down, but that's a solid gain on the play. You know, all week, the defensive coordinator told us about the quarterback and told us about the receivers and how they're going to throw the football. But, man... They better get locked in on stopping this run game because that was a big-time game. Big guys up front lined up. It's first down. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. He shreds the tackle. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. Remember, the last time they played, Texas squeaked out a close one. That was a painful one for the Sooner Nation. You know, Chris, to me, Texas and OU is one of those rivalries that just goes back and forth. And, and remember when Bob Stoops first got to Oklahoma, he seemed to have the upper hand. And then Vince Young in that 2005 magical season for Texas ended up changing that forever. Now it's gone back and forth ever since. And this is dropped. Would have been a huge game, but he could not collect it. What's cool about the battle for the golden hat is that it's a wearable trophy. You see the winning side, they went, grab that hat, Kirk, and they take a picture that lasts a lifetime. And Chris, think about it over the years, all the different folks that have been able to have a chance to put that hat on. Charlie Strong, of course, when Texas had a big win, Baker Mayfield, Vince Young, and it goes back and forth. And you're right, today, whoever wins this game, they're going to be quick to get that hat on. Longhorns will have to kick it away. And the offense will punt for the first time this afternoon. And the coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. The Oklahoma Sooners offense comes out for their first possession today. More of this game within the game, Kirk. You got the quarterback and the corner, two of the better guys in the country at their position, very aware of each other. And on the other side, you got a quarterback that has an attitude of he doesn't care. He's confident in his ability to shift and move a defense at will. It's going to be a great matchup. Hoping for another chapter in this tremendous rivalry, Kirk. They've been playing since 1900. Yeah, that's really what makes college football what it is. And I think all the concern with the realignment was we would potentially lose games like this. It's great to see Texas and OU still be playing for many years to come. Looking to throw. It's Arnold. Going for his running. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. 
Not a big return, but the pick ends the scoring threat. The offense will now take over at the 30. Nice job by this defense jumping on that football to come up with the interception. And not exactly how this quarterback envisioned this game starting. His very first throw of the game, he puts into traffic and he costs his team in a big way. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They came up empty on the last possession, forced to punt it away. And they begin to click now. Oh, look at the quick cut. Second down after that run on the previous play. They'll feed the back again. He stopped, but he gets a first down. And that's a good, nice, crisp run for a first down. Don't forget, good blocking up front by the big fellas. And this running back, he just seems to have a nose for that first down marker. A few more runs like this, and he's going to be getting into a rhythm for sure. The Longhorns are in the red zone. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. On the run, it's Baxter. They pick up four, so second down and six coming up. And off here from the shotgun. And shows off the juking ability, but not much room to run. It's a short game. Offense facing a third down now. They can still get a first down without scoring. Caught in the backfield. It's Bolden. All the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Wow, that is an impressive start, Kirk. In an emotional game like this, to be so efficient, to click like that early is impressive. Well, it's very impressive and a great way to start for this team because all the buildup and all the hype, now you can just settle in and play your game. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the PAT makes it 7 0. Now they get set to kick it away. Return starts from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. This offense trying to bounce back the last possession and then in a pick. First play of the drive, they'll come out throwing. Grab down the middle. It's Anderson. It's a fumble. Defense grabs the football. It's a turnover. Boy, the defense showing their team speed on that play, flying around that receiver. He made the catch. But he didn't do a good job of securing the football, and the ball comes out. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? An inside give now from the shotgun. And he will be stuffed for no gain. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fits, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the shotgun, handoff inside. Defense stops him, but that's a solid game. When you can get good chunks of yardage like this on early downs, 
it just keeps you on schedule, leading to more manageable third down situations. Never underestimate the value of consistently getting four more yards a pop like that. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. And the wideout goes in motion. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. He moves the ball to the seven-yard line. Offense has a first and goal now. Now that's what I call coming through for your team in a pressure situation. Great read, got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. Longhorns line up with a first and goal. Here's the handoff on first and goal. They've got him, but not before a solid gain on the ground there. Coming up, second down and goal. Movement here from the tight end. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Longhorns. Well, no surprise from offense this good. Short field, quick touchdown. Yeah, you get into the red zone, though, there's a tendency to want to get conservative. I love that the offensive coordinator and the quarterback kept attacking until they came away with seven points. set up for the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. And here's the return from inside the five. And the returner is brought down. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. The last possession ended in a fumble, and that set up a touchdown. So they got to bounce back from that right away. They're going to run it. Mack gets the carry. And the Sooners come up to the line to crank the tempo up here. And he's got it again. Fighting off the defender. And the sophomore brought down after an excellent run. I still love to see Oklahoma run the football and be able to show people they can get first downs by running the ball. I know their quarterbacks have been great in recent years, but the Sooners, when they want to be able to run the ball, you know they're going to run it. You still can't stop that offensive line and a great dynamic back. So good job here by the Sooners. Move the sticks. Ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. That has been in large part to the Lions on the ground game, which has been featured from both sides in this one so far. Here we go, first play of the quarter. The offense has a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it fly out of the wide out. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. I tell you what, you're going to load up on this running game and you're going to leave your corners one-on-one. -on -one. You better be ready when you take on Oklahoma. Think about all the receivers they've had over the years. Just off the top of my head, guys like C.D. Lamb and Hollywood Brown, they get left one-on-one. -on -one. They're going to make you pay for it. This receiver showing he's got the quicks to be able to win those one-on-one -on -one battles and soft hands. Good timing and a nice game for the Sooners. 
Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. He'll take a deep shot. The catch is made for a huge pickup. He's brought down at the six. The offense will have first and goal right there. Passing efficiency is almost always higher off a of play action. And you see why right here. The fake froze the defender for a second, and then the quarterback was able to zip it to the open player. A chance to get right back into this football game. It's first down and goal. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Makes it across the goal line. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Runner shows toughness and will refusing to be brought down. Ends up in the end zone. Yeah, that defender had no chance bringing down this ball carrier by himself. That's why you better have a couple defenders or else you're going to have more touchdowns like this. Kicking team on now for the extra point. To make the extra point, cut the lead to 14-7. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. Turns on the speed. Can they catch him? Can they catch him? No! Touchdown! We knew this returner was a dangerous guy. That was an electrifying play all the way to the house. Chris, it was great blocking, but the guy just looked so natural back there. As far as once he got his hands on the ball, it was like he was setting up his blocks, knowing exactly where he wanted to go. And then once he hit it right around midfield, nobody was catching. Here's the point after attempt. PAT is good. They're pulling ahead now, 21-7. Team on the field getting set now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Boom. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? It's a quick grab. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Well, this wide receiver has it all. We know about his leaping ability and his speed. But what I've seen today is the precise route running. Another example of it there. And the timing with this quarterback and this receiver is just a thing of beauty. The Sooners hustle to the line to run the hurry up. And there's the handoff. Good enough for first down yardage. How about the offensive line here? Just a hat on a hat, opening up just enough room for the back to squeeze through there for a nice game. No huddle here for the offense. Caught over the middle. It's Roberts. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. But when they're throwing the football like this, it is really hard to defend this offense because of the timing of the quarterback with his wide receivers. Another good example of it there for the first down. Makes me harken back to guys like Sam Bradford and Jason White, their Heisman campaigns and the accuracy that they threw the football with. Great example of that right here by this OU quarterback. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Has the first down still on the move. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up with a first down. Boy, I thought he might take that one all the way to the house. What a nice job by being able to find that lane in that defense. He picks up big yards, and the defense is fortunate to get him out of bounds there inside the 10-yard line. 
Offense racing down the field. It sets up a first and goal inside the 10. Trying to run, it's Sarcha. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Second and goal for the offense. They'll try to power it in right up the middle. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. Nice job by this defense on that second down. So we now have third down and goal. The offense could be thinking about four down situation. They need to put the ball into the end zone. They don't want to settle for a field goal here. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Back to throw. It's Arnold. Quarterback. And the senior making a disruptive impact play. Good pressure here by this defense, but it felt like the quarterback held on to the ball a little bit too long to come up with that sack for the D. So they're short on fourth down, and the coach decides to trot out the field goal team. And the kick is good. Offense settles for three on the drive. Well, they almost put a touchdown on the board, but instead they come away with three points. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. And they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. Grab made by the tight end. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. I'll tell you what, man, this defense of speed is electric. Great job of running to the football. Nowhere to go at all after that throw. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Looking to make a big play downfield. Tackle made quickly, but a big chunk play for this offense through the air. That is great arm strength and accuracy by this quarterback. Let's not forget the wide receiver's job of bringing it in for that big game. Longhorns will have first and ten here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. They get him down, but he crosses midfield, spot the ball to 44. He brings the two-minute warning here. Let's see if this offense can build on this big lead before halftime. The Longhorns pick up enough for a first down. Looking downfield, it's yours. Pass is caught. The pickup is five yards, so it's second down and five. Made the catch, but he was surrounded for not much room to run. They did a really good job that time of leveraging him out in space. I, I thought he might have a chance to be able to shake loose because he is so elusive. But uh, defense, as you said, did a really good job in the open field surrounding him. Just nowhere for him to go to pick up any more positive yards. Running out of time in the pocket. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage.
After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. Here's the snap. Looking to throw here. Grab down the middle. It's Bond. Moves the football to the 30. Good enough for a first down. Well, it's third down. The defense knows he's going to get the ball. You still can't stop the quarterback finding this receiver to be able to pick up another first down for this offense. Completion good for first down yardage for this offense. Looking to throw yet again. It's a short completion of the big tight end. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. Yeah, you know this defense has got to be frustrated after giving up multiple conversions now on first downs. There's another one. But for the offense, man, they're just playing very efficiently right now. Longhorns are in the red zone. Looking to throw it from the red zone. And he finds his tight end for the catch. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. And here the tight end shows off his hands for a nice game. Love to see the big man get his touches. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. So the offense calls a timeout here. That's their first of the half. Coming to the line on second down. This is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Back to throw. It's yours. Locates the tight end. It's complete. Brought down at the five after the completion. Defense getting pushed back. And now the offense will call a timeout here. Something they didn't like about what they saw there. Wanting to make an adjustment before this critical down. And they convert here on third down in the red zone. This is a four-point type of play. Touchdown or field goal. Takes the handoff here. Looking to throw it. And he decides to just throw it away. That's going to bring up fourth down now. Really good decision here by the quarterback. He ran through his primary target, wasn't there, threw it away to prevent the sack and keep them in field goal range. Smart play. So the coach will decide to settle for three points here. Out comes the field goal unit. This will be a very short chip shot from 22 yards out. The field goal is good. And they add to their lead. And that one, my gosh, I mean, it's almost too easy. Nice kick. So they settled for three, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. They'll return it from inside the 10-yard line. And they stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Sooners' offense is back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Solid run. They'll bring it down at the 28-yard line. Boy, trolls and screens are a great way to counter an effective pass rush. Allow those defensive ends to get upfield and then hand it off at the last second. This will likely be the last play of the half. To the air, it's Arnold. He's looking deep here. And the catch is made way downfield. That's a big game, but they could have used that when this football game was still in doubt. Touchdown, Oklahoma just ran away from the defense. Well, they roll the dice here, call that play, and it works out. They get points on the board. They cut into the lead. Now you got a ton of momentum going in at halftime to make some adjustments and come out feeling that you can come back and win this game. Now the try here for the extra point. PAT up and good. They get a little bit closer. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. 
and his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. Longhorns will kick it deep to begin the second half. Return begins inside the 10. They'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, so here comes the Oklahoma offense back on the field. And they'll start the third quarter here on the ground. Nothing doing in that play. The big D tackle there for the stop. The Sooners come to the line to run the hurry up. And the quarterback keeps it here. We're gaining some breathing room now. Tackled at the 26. Ooh, that came close to breaking into the secondary and potentially a big play. Read option. The quarterback keeps it. And why he didn't get a first down, he did get a nice chunk of yards. Only a nice tackle prevented it from going all the way. So a very makeable third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Tight end goes in motion. Quarterback pulls the ball. It's a keeper. Breaks the tackle. Now he's got room to run. They finally make the tackle, but the big game moves the ball across midfield to the 47. You know, even though that these guys are facing a deficit, they're not just going all through the air. Love the fact that you're running the football, keeping this defense honest, not panicking by just throwing every single down. Now you get a new set of downs and a chance to keep moving the ball down the field. On first down, it's play action. And it's incomplete. The defender arrived the same time as the football. And now it's second down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. The shotgun handoff here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Quarterback escapes the pocket. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Well, that takes the wind right out of your sails. This offense is trying to find a way to get back into this game. And another pressure and a sack against their quarterback. And the Sooners will send the punt team onto the field. And no chance for a return as the punch sails out of bounds. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. So in this possession, a couple things in play. Can they add to the lead and maybe, as importantly, milk the clock? Caught behind the line. It's Bond. And he runs out of bounds there to avoid the contact and take the loss. Offense getting set. It's second down. Tight end goes in motion before the snap. They'll run it from the gun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. They come to the line, a long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. Running back grabs it on a screen. 
That play is blown up. Defense makes the tackle in the backfield. Man, really good job here by the defense flying around, recognizing the ball is out, and then making the tackle short of the first down. The Longhorns will have to punt this one away. Looking to kick it away for the second time. And this one will be fair caught. And the Sooners offense is back on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? Quarterback keeps the football. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. But the linebackers and really the quarterback of the defense on this play diagnosed that read quickly and executed it flawlessly. He just blew in and blew up the option play for a loss. Second down after that previous play. Takes the handoff. It's Sawchuck. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Dropping back, it's Arnold. Looking to scramble. He eludes the rush. Breaks loose at the 45. He'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Well, they did a good job of getting pressure on the quarterback, but man, make the play. Bring him down. Instead, they give up positive yards here on the scramble. The Sooners looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Defense able to contain him after that juke, but he picks up a solid game. Well, the offense goes with a counter play here, and the defense does a pretty good job of slowing it down. Again, you got to be disciplined on defense. Just when you think they're running on the front side, they run that counter play, and you better be home on the back side. Grab behind the line. It's Roberts. And the second effort there will earn him the first down. Chris, just a great throw here. Surgical and precise in doing what they need to do to be able to pick up that first down and keep this Oklahoma offense on the move. The Sooners look to keep this drive moving. On the run, it's Sacha. They try the middle, but gain nothing on that play. Second down play coming up. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Makes a quick catch. Well, a lot of times when a quarterback sees man defense, he wants to get the ball out of his hands as quickly as possible. Put the ball in the hands of one of their best playmakers and hope that he can break a tackle or two on the outside and get a big play. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Defense, defense, defense. Quarterback drops back. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Oklahoma. Extra point try coming now. The PAT is up and good, so we're tied up here in the third quarter. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. 
He'll take the return and try to get some better field position. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Game makes it second and medium. From the shotgun, here's an inside give. Longhorns pick up enough yardage for a fresh set of downs. And it's been an old-school ground game duel. These running backs have been putting on a show so far today. And let's see how this one unfolds in the final quarter set to get underway. There's a first and ten play. Motion now from the tight end. He'll hand it off. Great cut there. Second down after that run on the previous play. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. That run sets up a critical third down play. Scanning the field. It's yours. Looking to set up a screen pass here. Heads out of bounds after a solid game. More than enough to pick up a first down. Well, this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in a first down. And I think in a process, Chris, they sent a message to the defense. You can rush our quarterback all you want, but when you do, you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you. Longhorns will line up on first and ten. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Five-yard gain, so it's second and five. Off here from the shotgun. Now uh, they test the middle of the defense, but get nothing. Offense breaks the huddle and gets set. It's third down. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Picks up the first, looking for more. The first down pickup tackled at the 45. I love this unconventional call by the offense coordinator. Third and medium, a lot of times you're thinking about throwing the football, but instead they're able to run the ball with great execution and they pick up the first down. Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Gonna run it. It's Baxter. Goes backwards, losing three yards there. Second down play coming up for this offense. They'll switch it up, looking to throw. Cut quickly. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker.
Being some important yards here in third down. A field goal try here would be from 59 yards out. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Fires it to the wide out. Caught over the middle. It's Bolden. They pick up the first down. Tackled at the 25. And you just continue to see the chemistry between these two. And they told us yesterday in our production meeting, they spent hours and hours of working and developing that chemistry and that rhythm by throwing together throughout those summer months. And man, it's starting to really pay off. He's become his security blanket for the quarterback. And especially on third down, get him the ball. Picks up a short game, but his swarm of the defense flying to the football. Fans of the defense got to be frustrated. The offense cannot be stopped here. And the tight end goes in motion before the snap. Here's the handoff on a counter. And they'll stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Offense looking to keep this drive going into the red zone. It's third down and short. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. And the Sooners fail to get a third down stop again. Well, Chris, to me, the defense looks like they're dropping back in zone coverage, worried about a pass play here on third down. Instead, the offense elects to run the ball, catches them off guard, and it's good enough for a first down. The offense has been out there forever. The 14th play in this drive. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Using his legs, it's Baxter. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. Positive yards at this point in the game are always important, especially now that you're starting to get well within the range of a field goal to take the lead. But if I'm this offensive coordinator and quarterback, I'm thinking about a touchdown here late in the game. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Grab behind the line. It's Bolden. Touchdown, Texas. They jump in front here in the fourth. Oh, this is how you start to get rolling. That's two touchdowns so far. And the more he gets fed, the more often he's going to cash in. And they get set now to try the PAT. PAT is up and good. They lead by a touchdown here in the fourth quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he'll bring it out from inside the 10. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Looks like a player is down injured at that last play. We'll take a timeout where they check it out. And the Oklahoma offense is back on the field. Look him out throwing here to start the drive. That's going to be incomplete. A first down drop here in the middle of the field. Chris, I don't know, man. I think he gets across the middle. He starts thinking about those linebackers and safeties. Got a little bit nervous. Lost his concentration and drops the ball. Second down here. Time for perhaps just one more play before the two-minute warning. They'll run it here. They get him down, but the game moves the ball up to the 36. And we reach the two-minute warning as this offense tries to steal a late-game comeback victory. This line getting set up. It's a first-down play. To throw, it's Arnold. Looking for the wideout. Catch made down the left side. An explosive play. 
And the coach quickly calls timeout after the play, trying to hold on to as much time as possible. They continue to march toward a game-tying touchdown. It's first and ten. Here's the snap. Offense looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Burks. He's brought down quickly. A short gain gets them a few yards closer to the marker. Well, the offense has done a nice job of moving themselves down in this area to give themselves a chance. But, man, the quarterback's got to continue to make good decisions and not put the ball in harm's way. Quarterback looking to pass here on second down. Delivers from the pocket complete over the middle. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. That's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. So it's a first down here. The clock is stopped temporarily, but they'll get to the line quickly. Quarterback sets up, looking for an open man. Caught over the middle. It's Sawchuk. Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver. That primary target forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards, but anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. Quarterback wants to throw it on second down. That's caught. It's Anderson. It's a quick tackle. Spot the ball at the 11 and a red zone opportunity now. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. The Sooners with first and ten here. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Launching one to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Oklahoma. What a touchdown here to pull them within one with under a minute to go. Conventional wisdom says you kick the extra point and you rely on your defense to send this game to overtime. But you could go for two to try to take the lead. And now the critical extra point attempt. And FPAT gives us a tie ball game here in the final quarter. Getting set to kick the ball off now. takes this from inside the five running right through tackles and he stopped at the 19 good job by the coverage team and the Longhorns offense takes the field how do you play this now do you call it a conservative play and just wait for overtime or try to make something happen and win in a regulation and you'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage but no more than that Important second down play coming up. They call the counter play here. Yeah. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. So tied up after regulation, we go to overtime. Remember, in college football, it's dueling possessions. In the second overtime, if we get there, you have to go for two points if you score a touchdown. And the third overtime, Kirk, just becomes a series of two-point tries. And I know that's your favorite, to see if we can get to that third series of these overtimes. I love extra football, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's see who's going to win it. First and ten play coming up. Scanning the field. It's yours. Receiver looks it in. It's complete. The defense drops him for a loss. They went backwards there. A second down behind the sticks now. On a wide receiver screen with a corner that tight, you've got to do a good job of blocking him or screening him. Nobody there, and a quick reaction by the corner allows him to make a nice play. 
Backs line up on either side of the quarterback. Caught in the backfield. It's blue. Oh, and he's in. Will he score here? Touchdown, Longhorns. To jump in front in OT. That's another passing strike from this quarterback. He is having himself a tremendous ball. Game. Boy, this guy just can't miss. Every single time he throws, it seems like he's coming up with another touchdown. The receivers are running good routes. He has enough time to throw. And man, this poor defense, they might want to think about changing up coverage. Because right now, it is not working. And now the extra point to make this a seven-point game in overtime. PAT puts him in front by seven. So pressure on this offense here in overtime. They must score a touchdown to stay alive. First play of the drive, looking to throw the football. He's escaping the pocket now. Quarterback gets down to avoid the big hit. Well, I thought the defense had him here, Chris. He should be down in the backfield, but instead, he gets out of the pressure and actually picks up some positive yards. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Looking to pass. It's Arnold. And he pulls in the catch. Tackled at the five-yard line. Now it's first and goal right there. I feel like this quarterback could make this throw in his sleep. It's like clockwork. A curl route against his own. And the quarterback, the only thing is he had to fit it into a tight window for that first down completion. So now it's first and goal. They have to punch it in here to keep this game going. Offense looking to throw the ball. And it's a touchdown! They're an extra point away from double OT. Or do you go for two and win it right now? What a job of answering it coming up with that touchdown. Good throw by the quarterback. Put a touchdown on the board. And now with all this momentum, hey, part of me really wants to just try to end it right here and go for two for the victory. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. Looks like they got the ruling on the field right the first time. They confirm it with the review. Point after, knocked right through. Still tied now, heading into the first play of double overtime. They'll hand it off. They stop him after a six-yard game, so second and four. I like that you trust your running back, and you're still trying to run the football. But you got to be careful. You get into overtime, this defense is thinking not just stop this runner, but try to rip that ball out as well. The Sooner is looking to take advantage of this red zone trip. Back to pass. It's Arnold. Throw to the sideline. Steps out after a short game. How aggressive do you get on first and ten? There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Grab down the middle. It's Roberts. Brought down at the seven, but the completion moves him into scoring position. Boy, he has such great size. I just love this play call on first and ten. The defense is expecting a run. Instead, you go play action, and you throw it to the big man for some positive yards on first and ten. Here comes a crucial second down play. Every yard tough to find down here in the red zone. No way to run up the middle. Here we go. 
go. Third down close to the goal line. They can still get a first down without scoring. They're going to throw for it on third and short. Escaping the pocket now. Into the end zone to take the lead here in OT. So a quarterback who can escape and score like that, what a boost for this offense. Yeah, and quarterbacks like this who can scramble are so hard to defend because the defense is so caught up in coverage and defending the pass. By the time they realize what's happening, there's no chance of stopping him from scoring. So they score the touchdown. Now by rule, they must go for two here in second overtime. Dropping back, it's Arnold. And he's in there. The conversion is good. Great execution, and it pushes the lead to eight. So pressure on this offense. They must answer with a touchdown to stay in this game. First play of the drive, they come out throwing. That's reeled in. It's golden. And they get him down after the completion. A second down after that completion. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. Caught near the sticks. It's Bolden. And the game just good enough for a first down. A new set of downs after that completion. First down, we're going to throw the ball. Snags the quick throw. Tackle at the two after the completion. The defense really up against it now. I mean, how about this offense and this execution? That's three plays, three completions in the blink of an eye, and now it's first and goal. So needing to reach the end zone to keep this game alive, it's first and goal now. He's got it right near the end zone. And he's in for a touchdown. They still need a two-point try, remember, to force double OT. Well, the offense has done its job here coming up with this touchdown, and that's a great job. And as you know now, Chris, down by two, they've got to hit this two-pointer to be able to tie this game up and send it to a third overtime. And now the wrinkle here in double overtime. They must set up for a two-point try. And he makes the grab of the end zone. The conversion works, and the game is now tied. Okay, so now we've got dueling two great conversions from here on out to decide this game. Enormous pressure on every snap. They'll try to run this one in. No, they've stopped him. Great job by this defense. And the two-point try fails. They get the huge stop, and now they go for a two-point try to win the game right here. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. No, no, he is stopped short. They cannot execute the crucial two-point play. So they set up again a two-point try to reclaim the lead deep here in overtime. Looking to throw, it's Arnold. He's moving out of the pocket now. And he's in. They get the two-point conversion to jump on top here deep in overtime. So now this offense must answer from three yards out to keep this game alive. On the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. No, he stops short, and it's game over. This defense rises up and wins it right there.